So Peter, tell us a little bit about Dynamic Steel and who you guys are. We're a medium sized fabricator of lightweight steel. So we take uh, Blue Scope True Core, or fully Australian made steel, and roll form that into lightweight steel frame truss, floor joists, wall panels, and, and all sorts of crazy facade features. Now this property that we're at in particular in Bamborough, this is Christian's house, and mm -hmm. it was quite a unique design, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. So Christian's a landscape architect and has had the design for this house uh, in his head for quite some time. Okay. Uh, and then when he came to us, we were able to turn that into a, a, a structural reality. So yeah, we purchased the land and then over a couple of years, we, uh, we came up with the design. So ultimately we wanted to create an L-shaped house so we could focus all the, uh, all the angles looking out over the valley. We had about three years of, of looking at the plans and choosing the mediums and then we stumbled across rammed earth and then we decided to, to work with the rammed earth element. Um, and then I still wasn't quite sure what I was going to use bricks but which type of bricks and then I came across some hundred year old hand made apricot bricks. So it kind of evolved as the, um, as the whole process of, of getting the plans and changing made some subtle changes and then we were ready to go and, and found Pete with the, uh, with the dynamic steel frames. What were the kind of challenges that you faced with this, with this House of Christians? Well, on the front of the building, there's a very, very large cantilever that pokes out about three metres from the front facade. Mm -hmm. uh, and that wasn't possible with any other uh, framing technology. So structural steel, timber, nothing else could do it other than the lightweight steel frame. So we were able to turn his, uh, his architectural intent into a structural reality. The, the lightweight nature of a steel frame allows us to be structurally stronger and span further than any other competing building technology. So the raking ceilings inside the house are only possible with the large spans that you'll see uh, by using a lightweight trust roof. Now you have a little motto that you use with your business. Can yep. you tell us about the that? The motto is lighter, straighter, better. Mm -hmm. So we're lighter than competing building technologies. We're straighter, there's no need to pack or plane or straighten or splice or plane walls. Uh, and because of that, we're better. So is this something that more and more people are building with now? It is. Uh, discerning homeowners and commercial builders who want the simplicity and speed that a lightweight steel frame can give them are choosing steel over competing technologies because again, it's lighter, it's straighter, it's better. It goes up faster. There's also no requirement for termite protection because steel is 100% termite proof. It's a bonus. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's non-combustible, mm -hmm. so it works better in bushfire uh, zones as well. So there's really all the benefits are there. Such a big uh, philosophy of mine is, is space. And with five people living in this house, it feels like everyone's got their own space. And I think through, there, there is a philosophy out there, through high ceilings and open spaces creates clarity of mind. And then I suppose you combine that then with the beautiful views of looking over the valley and it really puts you in a really nice place. Are most of your clients in like more suburban areas and, and, yeah. and rural areas, bush areas? Yeah, we've, we've got a lot of houses in, in rural areas, but a lot of commercial builds as well. The vast majority of our, of our uh, customer base is in the high volume commercial apartment space. So Christian's chosen to use a few different layering and rendering mm -hmm. techniques in the house. Yep. How do you feel about them? I reckon they look great. Um, having variety on the front of your building or on the facade of your building really adds to the character of the building. So these bricks are all uh, reused, 100 year old bricks, which uh, Christian's uh, has saved and put into his brand new high tech build. When I think about dynamic steel, I think industrial, but coming into Christian's home, this is quite a rustic and mm. contemporary home that's mixed with that Yep. industrial, you, you can't tell, it marries together really well. Yeah, it's a way that uh, you can turn the steel into anything you like. It doesn't necessarily need to look like a particular style of house. We've built houses like Christians, we've built standard style houses, we've built um, very, very edgy, square boxy houses. There's, there's no limit to the design that you can do in steel. Touch on price a little bit. Is it is it more expensive than building a normal home? It's slightly more expensive up front to buy the steel frame, but your ongoing benefits from not having to do termite protection, not having to pack and plane and straighten walls, being faster to plaster, faster to tile, uh, adds up in the end to about the same to build in, uh, as you would in any other technology. Except it lasts forever. Except it lasts forever. That's awesome. Thanks, Peter. Thanks for enlightening me today. My pleasure. <laughs> Thank you.